February I retired and I've been traveling around drinking like a sailor and eating like a pig and I've gained over 20 pounds. Now since settling into my new life here in Thailand, I've been working out twice a day and I'm finally back into a daily routine. Now a few years ago, I was over 200 pounds and I did this program called Insanity and I lost 40 pounds in 60 days. And after that, I did a program called Body Beats and I got ripped. Now this month, I'm going to be doing Insanity during the morning and Body Beats during the evening. So let's see what kind of results I get. Because I got to do something about this. It's getting out of control. What I like about Insanity is it's a 60 day program, it doesn't require any equipment, and it's all cardio. You're basically just jumping around in your living room and doing yoga. Oh, that Insanity workout is fucking crazy. Now like I said, since I retired, I've really let myself go. But for the next two months, I'm focused on me. I'm getting back in shape, I'm learning a new language. I'm rereading some of my favorite books, and I'm just relaxing. It's been pretty boring lately, and this is what a typical week's been looking like. Now after my workout, I usually go down to Central Festival Mall and grab myself something to eat. Now I've been trying to eat more Thai food lately, but I need to really start my day off on more of a Western diet, and they got quite the selection over here. Let's check it out. Central Festival Mall is located in Central Pattaya between Beach Road and Second Road and has plenty of shopping and food to offer. Like I said, I've been trying to eat more Thai food, but it's hard for me to start my day eating Thai. And I like how here they have a wide variety of Western food to choose from, all cooked fresh, and I'm usually one of the first ones here when they open. Now today I'm trying the German goulash, but like I said, if you're a Westerner and you're looking for comfort food, this is the place to come. But they got a wide variety of other foods to choose from. Now let's dig in. That's good. Now in the area where I eat, they have servers to bring your drink and your check. But in the rest of the food court, you have to buy a prepaid card because they don't accept cash in the individual stalls. And it can be a bit confusing your first time, or at least it was in my experience. I'm glad I have a scooter now and can start exploring my local area because there's so many amazing sights to see. I'll then come back to the condo and start editing my videos for about an hour or so, or do some filming around town. Afterwards, I start studying my Thai, and I try to put in at least an hour here. Then I'm off to the gym to do my Body Beast program. These usually last between 30 and 45 minutes, but to be honest, I'm usually pretty sleepy by this point of the day, so I've been cutting back on my weed smoking dramatically, and it's definitely been helping me with my energy levels since doing so. I'll then heat something up I got earlier in the day while I was out at the mall or grab something to eat from up the street at one of the local restaurants before having a few beers and calling it a night. Wednesdays and Fridays are my Thai lessons and each class is an hour, but you can't have all work and no play. It's Saturday night and tomorrow's my recovery day. So I'm gonna go down to Soy Bacow. There's this area called Tree Town and it has plenty of bars, but I've also been told that there's plenty of live music. I'm hoping to find some unique Thai style music, so let's see what we come across. Soy Bacow is one of the main roads to get around Central Patia, and I love all the action and flurry of activity going on around here. With so many amazing sights, sounds, and smells, it's definitely something to experience. There's a lot of live music, singing the typical American songs I've heard a million times, but I was really drawn to this band and their unique style.
October 18th, and I've been working out hard for the last 48 days, eating a lot cleaner and drinking and smoking a lot less. But tomorrow, I got a friend coming to visit, and I want to show him a good time. So I definitely see some cheat days in my future. After my friend leaves, my cousin's coming over to visit, and then a friend I met in Mexico. So the next few months is going to be challenging to say the least. I still plan on keeping up with my routine, and I really need to be at a weight no more than 160 pounds for me to feel healthy. But for now, let's see what kind of progress I made for the last 48 days. So it looks like I lost 14 pounds so far. Not what I was hoping for, but I'm glad to see the needle moving in the right direction. My shirts are fitting better and I'm having to tighten my belt up. However, I live in a party town and I'm looking forward to doing a little partying when my friend gets here. So stay tuned. Come on, come on, come on.